Hey everyone, uh, I'm going to do a little bit more on the new NX Sketcher. I know some of you have accused me of being a fanboy, but it's with good reason. There's uh, some really great things that have happened in the Sketcher, and this is one of those. It's called Relaxed Dimensions. Okay, so for example, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn it off right now. If I come in here, right, this is a fully defined sketch. You see down here, it's fully defined. If I grab one of these lines, you'll note I cannot drag it. Okay, if I try to click and drag it, move it, do something with it, can't do it because it is fully defined. Now, I'm going to click on Relax Dimensions. And I know this has happened to me in the past, and it still happens to me because I still do a lot of design work. I'm going to grab this line and I'm going to drag it down. Now, what I want you to notice is that this line, as I drag it down now with Relax Dimensions, modifies the existing dimension. And I know what dimension it is because it highlights it in magenta. So by relaxing that dimension, I'm telling the system, well, I do want to move this, but I want to get it close to where I want it to be. And then as soon as I release the mouse, you'll note the dimension goes back and the sketch is still fully defined. Now what's happened is we get this Little, the little squiggles over here by that dimension, indicating that it is an approximation. Okay, So if I come over here and click on this to make a modification, say, all right, well, I want this at 135. Notice the approximation is now gone. So if I grab this and drag this out, note I have two dimensions that are being relaxed in order to maneuver, manipulate the sketch just by dragging the line to where I want to go. And the reason why both of those are being adjusted is because this and this, note here is my equal length relation. Okay, There is my collinear relation. That's why this one, when I adjusted this guy, that collinear made everything move. Okay, So there's my equal length. Now, when I come in here, make my modification. Oh yeah, that needs to be at 460. So I can do these little modifications and things just adjust. It's that simple. You don't have to convert a dimension to a reference. You don't have to delete it. You don't have to do any of that stuff. You just tell the system, I'm going to relax the dimension and away it goes. So if I go into this 460 now, I'm going to grab the arrowhead and drag it. As I move it, something else that happens, which I absolutely love, notice the 115 dimension in magenta. The system is telling me that in order for this to grow or shrink, that dimension is growing and shrinking as well. Okay. Now, if I turn off the relaxed dimensions and I come over here and I make a modification, notice that now it's 90 is staying at 90 because it is now no longer relaxed. The system is saying, NX is saying, well, this has to stay at 90. But when it is relaxed, both of those adjust equally. Okay? So, again, there's a lot of things going on. All right? That's one of the reasons why I left my relations size so large, so you can really see what's going on. You can also see what's going on with the dimensions by them highlighting magenta, saying this is being modified as you make that change. Okay, that's with the relaxed dimensions. So it's really nice in that regard. Now, if I just come over to this dimension and again, move it, right, modifies, turn off my relax, come over to the dimension and move it, well, the dimension moves, but nothing else. So to me, for somebody that is new to it or is fighting with it or struggling with the new sketcher, like I said, just you have to be aware of what the system is telling you. It's speaking to you. It's giving you indications 
of what it wants, what it's doing. There are all of my relations, right? All my geometrical re relations. Those are, there are all my dimensions. How do I want my dimensions to act? What do I want those dimensions to do? Okay. So you just have more options than you had before. Okay. With these little arrowheads are absolutely brilliant, manipulating the dimension in such a, such a fashion, relaxing them to make adjustments, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right? It's just it, to me, there's a lot more usability and functionality. And the purpose of a sketch is, if we have to make changes, especially big changes, being able to make those big changes quick and easy. So that relaxed dimensions allows that. Okay, and the same thing with relaxed relations. I talked a little bit about this. I'll do another video about that again later on if, if need be. But, you know, if, if I were to go in this direction with it, you'll see, there it goes. Okay, so yes, I'm a bit, a bit of a fanboy, but give it a shot. Play around with it a bit more. Understand what the solve toolbar is all about this gallery right there's a lot of things going on with this solve gallery and um, understanding that how these things function will make your use of the new sketcher much easier okay just give it a shot